Jeff, uh, one of the things that I love about Will is that he, he's like, uh, at a personal level, he's totally different than when he's in front of the camera. Do you think, uh, what, is that a psychological need for acceptance or how do you see this dichotomy? I, I, it was interesting to get in behind that news desk because one of the first things I had to pull off was looking like I'd been behind a news desk for 20 years or so, you know, and um, it's a performance of sorts. It's you rise up and you look down the barrel of that lens and you explain to people what they need to know and they're coming to you. So it becomes this almost like you're on stage giving them what they want, talking directly to that one person who happens to be 10 million people or whatever. But that, that I found pretty early and that, that, that really felt right. It's, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's like lights action and then Will goes. He becomes Will in capital letters. Through, through playing Will, have you become or changed your perception of the need to being informed? I, I, I've learned a lot about um, the responsibility that comes with being that person that chooses every single word he or she is saying because it all matters. It all goes out there and once it goes out, it's gone and it's out in the world and so you've got to get it right. And, um, and if you're going to go off on your opinion, which Will does, um, then it better be something you believe in, that you're committed to. And so there's a responsibility to it. So you're not just sitting in front of the camera, you know, killing 20 minutes and going off on whatever issue. It's well thought out, written, and, uh, and there's a commitment to it. And that, that, that was, you know, it's, it's a, there's a responsibility. If, uh, if uh, Will would exist in real life, would you watch the news and follow him and why? I think I would, just to see what, what this guy's going to do. I mean, he, certainly he's very, very smart. He's very um, opinionated, and he bores in, as only Aaron Sorkin can write, he bores in on an issue that you don't hear others out in the real world doing. And, and that's a luxury that Aaron has, but it's also what Aaron believes. And, and through Will's voice, you get this perspective or point of view on a certain issue Uh, so yeah, I would I want to would want to hear this guy because he seems to stand out. He seems to be an original. Uh, in a way, he has an incredible sense of empathy, and many people don't relate a Republican with empathy, no. at least liberals like me or like many other people. So, is there a contradiction on the character, or he's just human and happen to be a Republican? <laughs> <laughs> and I think Aaron makes, uh, uh, he touches on it in uh, season one, but he, but he goes further with it in season two, is that Will's, Will's a moderate Republican. He's a Republican, and he'll tell you to your face, he's a, and he's got no shame in saying it. But he doesn't understand what's happening to the Republican Party in America, and, and that he's not the only one, fictional Will, is not the only one who's out there saying that. There are a lot of guys on cable news right now just pulling their hair out going what the hell is going on with the Republican Party it's being co-opted by the far right and so Will is one of those guys that that wants to cut the, cut them off and let them go out to sea and get back to being the Republican Party that could sit in a room with Democrats and work out a deal that's Will <laughs>